it did it again, guys. It did it again. I just knew it. At this point. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. This is going to be a maintenance vlog, you feel me? Kinda maintenance, kinda not, maybe so, don't know. You feel me? It don't even matter. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button. I done said this like the first, the second, the third, the eighth, the tenth, the twelfth. What's, what's with you not being subscribed, Buki? Don't get your books in the muffin. Today guys, I'm thinking about, you feel me? And getting my hair done you know i never really went to a salon to get my hair done so it's kind of just like i haven't been to a salon in like four six years four to six years and the only time i was in a salon was when i was working in there so it's kind of just like let me go get my hair done there's a salon around me that has like a 4.1 rating and i think i'm gonna go there to get my hair done so yeah this is on period this buki oh man she's just gonna have to come off just like that buki i'm sorry <laughs> not today baby not today are you serious? You see, I did have the wig on for like four weeks, so this is pretty much what we're gonna get, okay? I don't know. I really don't know. Cause it's like when I get my hair washed, they're gonna just, if I was to put makeup on, they're gonna wash that whole area off anyway. And then there's just gonna be this band here. Like today is just like not the day for the hair to be doing this, bro. And it's doing it. It's doing it. These is four week old braids. Have not taken them out. It you don't even see the parting. There we go. You see something. Gee. First of all, I need to go to the store and get me some shea butter. So we're gonna have to do that if I'm gonna wow my nails they're all gone that's crazy like i'm just now realizing nails gone um shea butter empty hair needs to be done but we're dealing with that today toes let's look at the toes toes they're towing so yeah it's kind of just like we got a lot of things to do man like what y'all doing Wow. 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 I think we're ready to go get our hair done. Yep. We gotta do our hair. We gotta do, you feel me, clearly, the nails. <laughs> That's crazy. Then we gotta try to do a workout. I was supposed to be working out and what is a girl gonna do i'm just a girl i'm just a girl this is just like not the perfect day to do what i want to do but um we're gonna see what it is so i'm gonna take my hair out Let's go. just taking out my hair this is what came out yes, I am kind of tender-headed and that's why I always that's 
the main reason why I started doing my own hair. Because I was tired of always getting my hair done. And it would be so tight, I would have to either take out the braid, ask my mom if she can loosen it, rebraid it. It, it would just be a lot gentle. <laughs> oh my gosh. Am I balding? I have been stressed, but not that stressed. I'm not gonna get a perm. I'm actually gonna get just a wash and set because I'm natural bookie. This. I have to be balding, bro. I have to be. I, I really have to be. There's no way. I didn't even fully get through it. And do you see? Do you see this? I'm literally stressed out. Like this. See, I never said life. See, nobody never said life was going to be easy. Because it's not. I'm balding. And. Bro, I didn't even comb this out yet. Oh my. I know when I go there, she's going to comb. Comb, bro. And it's just like, let me pre-comb for her. I better be coming out that salon looking like Beyonce. That's all I'm going to say. Mm -hmm. That's all I'm going to say. Because it ain't that serious, Buki. It just got a lot of value. That's it. It just got a lot of value. Mm -hmm. This is what came out. Now, this is what came out when I took out my braids. This is what came out when I combed out my hair. So, the hair is now out. That is just on period, Bookie. We out here with it. We out here with it, period. So, I'm going to get dressed and yeah, we're going to put some clothes on and we're going to get ready to go to the salon. Ooh, oh, oh. They can't get it, you know, super straight, then we know what's next. I'm gonna come home and we're gonna try routine out, but yeah. I feel like I should bring a wig just in case if I don't like, you know, if it's not like the washing set that I have. I, in my mind, in my mind, I'm thinking of like a silk press, you feel me? So it's kind of like, if it's not like a silk press, I'm kind of gonna be like, and then want to put on a wig. So I don't know, but not in the store, because you know, that's gonna be pretty mean. But you know, when I walk out and then I just smack the wig on top of my head, then yeah, it's just like that. The best thing that makes me super excited is when my hair has came a long way, you feel me? So boom boom I think my hair is a little bit much more bigger than this one now but I love the volume in this one like it's just it just gives baby it just gives but yeah we're just gonna put her back these are some boots that I got on TikTok they don't even have them anymore and I actually wanted to get some back to get like another pair and stuff like that but it is what it is and the hair natural so guys, yeah, I did not want to record the washing process because one, the washing process, she got water all in my jacket. And on top of that, it was just really, really rough, really, really rough with the hair. And I already had breakage, so I was getting just, I was just aggy, like real agitated. But then when I got underneath the dryer and then I felt the heat, I was real nice, calm, cool, and collective. <laughs> You feel me? The heat just did something to me. It just it just did something. And I was like, ooh, yes. Mm. But, you know, the only thing that I probably don't really like about the hair salon is basically being under the damn dryer for so long. Because my dryer didn't even stop. She came and, you know, took it off because it was it just was going. You feel me? It was just was going. But, of course, this is the before and this is the middle so this one has multiple types of styles i'm not sure those green ones look nice i'm not gonna hold you these look really nice and they got a smiley face on them i wanted them to be short but i think i'm gonna go big hold up Do y'all see what I'm talking about? You can never sleep on press-on girlies, like I swear to God. Like these are so nice. Hold up. This one is perfect. All right, thank you. I also need me a new edge brush. 
gonna get this one. This one's gold. Yes, baby, look at that. And I got these. But I'm gonna put on these because I feel like they're gonna be like super cute. It's green, so let's get ready to do our nail spooky. But wow, going to and put a clip in, and that's just on period. We got that that band right there, but it is what it is, spooky. Let's do our nails, and that's just on period. She did her thing. She really did, but um. I don't want to sweat my hair out and this is not a perm bouquet so it's probably gonna puff up in like three days or so i don't know hopefully not nails be looking elite every day every time every week never go wrong with glue on nails i'm gonna just be honest with you you just can never go wrong and if it be popping off it's because you're not doing it right not doing it right so just make sure you guys pay attention on how you do it you feel me that's just on periods never bouquet can never because if one break just replace it period and I feel like these are so cute. Did you guys see them? They look so cute. So let's get started. Now, if I'm going to be honest, guys, the best way to keep your nails lasting long so that you don't have to keep always, always re-gluing them and nothing like that, file your nails. Make sure that your nail bed is completely dry. Then apply a lot of glue. If the glue pops out on the side that's how you know you put enough okay that's the only way i know i put enough is when i see the glue come out from the sides you can always wipe it off it's just it bookie it's just it like that's literally the key to making them last long if you skip filing them then yeah they're gonna pop off they're gonna break and you're always gonna have to replace them and you're not gonna like them and that's just on that but this is definitely nice i love these these are cute Okay, Bookie, so I'm using the super dry and the blue nail polish. I got this nail polish from the dollar store. The way to keep it lasting longer is to definitely double coat it. Like, I'm just gonna say that. You have to double coat it. Y'all are definitely looking at like six coatings. Like, I'm not even gonna, <laughs> I'm not even gonna hold you. I put at least like six coats on there and at least like three of the super dry when it comes to the Dollar Tree nail polish, but I also decided to want to make some bedazzles. At first, I was going to make a flower, but then I was like, no, I want it to be like a picture frame. And that looked the cutest, so that's what I did. For me to be doing my own toes and to be doing all of this, it's kind of giving like... Okay, baby, I'm a pro. Period, period, period. Born a pro. Born to do this, could do this always, period. And not only stuff. <laughs> But I think like it actually came out really good. The fact that I really tried this time, like I did, I actually tried, and it came out nice. <laughs> first things first, we're gonna use the Ioni 3D False Make Lashes, the EXO Wispy Full Ones, and I'm gonna be using the Andrea's Beauty Paradise eyelash glue liner. The lashes are from the dollar store. They actually are really nice. They're pretty long. They're not like the first ones that I got, were, which were pretty, you know, they're pretty short. Sometimes if I put too much glue, I just go in with a little bit of alcohol and just wipe that off. I normally don't start off just concealing or contouring my face. I normally put the primer, I just forgot to do it. The only thing that's really updated in this makeup tutorial is the Be Pure Extential Ageless Blur Face Primer, which is what I'm using, and the Too Faced and Buttercup Concealer. It is really, really nice. I feel like these products are really great. I also started to use a darker foundation, which is basically the same foundations that you guys see me use, but I don't wear foundation. I basically use it for like you know concealer underneath the eye that's the first base that you see the darker one that you see me using is the kiss professional natural finish liquid foundation the full coverage in 420 chestnut and i feel like this is just way much more it just makes things a lot much more easier when it comes to blending is if i use a darker 
foundation or a darker shade if i was to wear foundation all over it would be to use a darker foundation or to contour first and then to conceal and then when you're finished concealing you just go back in with that contour brush or the shade that had the darker shade on it and you just go on top of the makeup to blend it all out and make it look neutral i feel like this makes it look a lot much better and then plus going in with the it's cosmetic powder that's my favorite powder it's like when you go like let's just say you want to take pictures with the flash and stuff like that you don't want any flashback instead you want it to be looking baby soft and this is exactly why i love it's cosmetic powder and translucent the other thing that i super really really do love and i'm super happy about it which is why it's going to be in this makeup tutorial from now on is this blush that i'm using the blush amazing i got the blush from the dollar store I think they're new is to be pure i finally see it in there it's in the red one like it's the most reddest one it goes on so neutral and lastly will be my favorite product which is this glow right here to be honest this should have just been like a favorite product thing because the way that i'm doing it i just applied it different this time you know but you guys know what i mean 